Hey you guys, how you guys doing? Today we are going to do pick a pile reading and we're going to see what blessings are coming for you. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying your guys' day. We are going to start off with the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. This is what I was called to pick. All right. Pile number one. What blessings can pile number one expect? Woo. Pile number two. And pile number three. Awesome. Pile number one, what blessings can they expect? Pile number two, and pile number three. <laughs> Spirit says it's all going to work out for you. File number one, what blessings can they expect? File number two. File number three. Number one, what blessings can they expect? Pile number two. Pile number two got two cards out there. And pile number three. If you are choosing pile number three, feel free to watch pile number two also. What blessings can I expect? Pile number two. And pile number three. So pile number one is change. Number 35, Thunder Moon. Pile number two, Self Love, number six. And pile number three is fear. All right, take a moment. You can pause the video, take your time to see what pile or piles you are most drawn to. If you are new, feel free to watch the whole video through. A lot of people tell me that all of them resonate. All right. And I will see you soon. Hello, pile number one. So you chose change number 35. We're going to do a quick read here. Change. Accept change. Life, like the seasons, is about change. 
Take advantage of change energy. Plan ahead. I welcome change and I ride its energy. One of the great truths in life is that change is constant. It is unavoidable and we can resist all we want, but nothing truly stays the same. It is better than to prepare and even direct change by setting intentions and building our personal power from the inside out. Seasonally, there are times of the year that have at their essence a profound sense of change, usually the shoulder seasons of autumn and spring. It is at these times of year we can feel more easily the shift between one season and another. In autumn, the nights grow longer and there is a chill when darkness falls that wasn't there just weeks before. The breeze that blows is no longer balmy. The birds we have been watching all summer seem to have packed up and left. And in their place, new species appear to strut their stuff. We begin to dress with more layers and we may even hunger for different foods. All these are signals of change. In spring, it's all about waking up and warming up and the opposite happens. All these are signals of change. This moon shines down upon the winds of change, the clearing storms, the electric crackle of lightning and the boom of thunder echoing across the valley. There is great energy to be channeled in such a time and to be focused towards writing change with joy and ease. Companion stone or metal here is serpentine, serpentine, okay? So if you chose this pile, pile number one, you could be going through some kind of changes in your life, welcoming changes into your life. These could be sudden changes. It's like shocking electrifying changes. I'm getting here Uranus energy. This could have something to do with Uranus. Uranus, Uranus. Passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Beautiful, this is a beautiful card. So maybe you're getting fired up about some kind of changes. Number 48, idyllic times, the garden, paradise. You could be getting ready for some kind of changes. You're getting, you're, you're getting excited for some kind of changes. What's coming after this change is something with paradise, some ideal times. So these are positive changes, it looks like. military person number 22 you could be you could be cutting something out of your life some kind of something dark some kind of darkness out of your life or dark influences out of your life this could be about defending someone defending someone defending yourself Either way, I feel like with this number 22, it's like you're coming into alignment. Chantel, new romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So new romance is here. 
Yeah, it's like a change that brings about some new romance with a newcomer or somebody you already have a connection with. The passion is going to be reignited and in, in, in an existing relationship. Awesome. Okay. Let's see what tarot cards you have. I was called today to use this angel's deck. This is the angel tarot. Okay, so this is a blessing coming. This is a blessed change that brings in a passionate romance where you're gonna feel like you're in paradise or it's gonna be like an idyllic time. You may be somebody in the military or veteran or dealing with somebody like that. Okay. What blessings are coming for them? Pile number one. Endings, ten of swords. So you're ending something. Something is ending out in your life that leads to change. Justice, angel of integrity. This could be like karma, some kind of good karma. Things balancing out for you. Something, something is ending there's a change, there's an ending, and it leads to some kind of justice, peace, harmony. This is definitely something to do with a relationship. Could be a Libra. This could be something with the law. Contracts. What blessings are coming for pile number one? Five of swords, loss. There could be some kind of loss. You could have, this could be like a, a legal battle or some kind of um, issues with other people, maybe enemies. You could have had an enemy trying to sabotage a romantic connection or you could be ending out something with an enemy suddenly it looks like something could be taking a long time Three of Swords, Heartache. There's a lot of swords here. These are all actually swords, air energy with this Libra. This could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Yeah, look at the Nine of Cups is sticking out. Blessings. Yeah, so it's like a blessing in disguise. You ending something. Wow, Four Swords. Yeah, look at all these swords healing so there could be a lot going on mentally you could be thinking a lot healing okay you may be healing yourself something within yourself or you could be healing something with a romantic interest i feel like a lot of you guys it's healing something that an existing relationship you're reigniting the flame reigniting the passion Here's some passionate energy here. Seven of Wands, challenges. There's been challenges. This could be something with the truth, honesty, something with integrity, definitely. Something's balancing out for a love connection or something romantic. New love is imminent. You and this, this romantic interest, romantic partner are going to be in paradise now that you're cutting something out. You're ending something. 
there's a loss, but it's like, thank God. It's that feeling like, thank you, God. This is something you want to lose, you want to cut out. Somebody has been causing you challenges or challenging a connection or challenging you somehow, possibly legally for some of you guys. Somebody's heart broken, experiencing heartache. It's definitely a third party. Three of swords, five of swords. You're cutting the enemy out or ending something with them and they're, they're dealing with heartache, heartbreak, sad, heartbroken. Yeah, what's standing out to me with this military person, this person's got a very long sword. It's like you are cutting out some kind of something dark, a dark influence, something negative, someone negative, 22. This enemy or whatever was not expecting this. They weren't expecting to get cut out or you to end something with them and heal. And he'll be at peace. Something could be being stopped or you're blocking them out. You just want peace. There's a lot of peaceful energy here. This is all leading to peace. I'm sensing here, it's like now you and a romantic interest can finally be together in peace. Something like that. What blessings, what other blessings are coming for pile number one? Nine of Pentacles, comfort. So it looks like you and a love interest is going to be having this. You and a love interest is having peace, justice, comfort. You guys may have money coming for you guys, money, stability. You're going to have a comfortable life, comfortable lifestyle. You guys are going to prosper together. You guys are going to do something fun, something exciting. Yeah, it's like you're going to be in peace, be in paradise together, do, do something passionate, some passionate love connection. What other blessings coming for pile number one? Wow. Two of swords. Look at all these swords. And then the king of swords. Wow. And two of cups. Two of swords. Uncertainty. Some third party that's been challenging a connection or your romance. Or maybe challenging your peace or something with your truth. They're getting blocked out. They've been causing you uncertainties, confusions. They was trying to block out something with your love life or love interest, I feel like. They wanted to block out love. They didn't want you to have love, passion, paradise. They didn't want you to be happy and just be at peace. Two of Cups and the King of Swords. Decisions partnership two of cups okay somebody is making a decision a head over heart decision a very wise decision to cut something out maybe to communicate their, their truth or tell the truth to somebody so they can have this two of cups this partnership this could be somebody like that's using a lot of logic this could be somebody in the justice system, maybe a judge, lawyers. What blessings are coming for pile number one? Wow. 
<laughs> All these cards are trying to jump off the table. Wall. Misunderstanding. There could have been a misunderstanding. Somebody could have their guard up, be defensive. I feel like some enemy that was challenging you or brought a lot of challenges to your life that you're ending something out with with them now or cutting them out they wanted you guard it towards a lover a lover a love interest that you have a lot of passion for or a lot of passion with now it's like you're understanding something now and you're seeing that you need to block off the enemy you need to be putting up a wall a strong tall wall towards an enemy somebody could have wanted you feel like like your back was up against the wall with some kind of decision decisions Okay, let's get some more what blessings are coming for pile number one and one more door opportunities are waiting for you so there's a new door opening looks like new opportunities for you and a love interest maybe a, a new lover new romance August, this is going to come around August time, between now and August time. This could be August 22nd, August 4th, August 8th, August 3rd, August 5th. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Yeah, there's been difficult times. You're going to be taken care of. Maybe there's going to be some new opportunities coming for you in August dealing with romance. It's, yeah, especially if this is Leo season. Leo, fifth house energy. Leo energy is all about love, the heart, being carefree, wearing your heart on your sleeve, being childlike, having fun. Okay, what other blessings is coming for pile number one? Blessings are coming for pile number one. When you feel confident, when you feel confident and good about yourself, doors to higher planes of possibilities begin to open for you yeah there's a door feel good about yourself feel confident maybe that's part of the change that you're making maybe you're feeling stronger you're feeling more powerful you're getting fired up about something you're increasing your energy levels stay in that confident energy maybe you're going to have to be confident to make some kind of decision to say something speak Discuss something or cut something or some people out. Somebody's heartbroken. They want you to stay stuck in this two of swords energy, possibly at a stalemate or confused, uncertain about something. You see the truth. Looks like you're choosing some two of cups partnership. That's the opportunity you're taking. That's the door you're walking through. What else? Pile number one. What blessings are coming for pile number one? I am releasing baggage that's been weighing me down. Yep. And pile number three. Sorry. <laughs> the third card. You are so gorgeous. Okay, some of you guys... Some of y'all guys are going to resonate with pile number three. Somebody is so gorgeous. So you're very attractive or somebody's very attracted to you. <laughs> okay, let's get a final card, final message here for pile number one. 
Well, blessings are coming for pile number one. It's a blessing in disguise. You releasing this baggage, cutting something out. Two of earth. Yeah, and look, and there's a balance. Compromise, self-control, moderation. You're walking into a high vibrational energy. This is a high vibrational romance, a high vibrational connection, maybe a, a higher level soulmate where you two are going to be walking through this new doorway between now and August. Two of Earth, balance, prioritization, and playfulness. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be around Leo season. Something is balancing out. You're already manifesting this. You've already started manifesting this already. There's some kind of adjustment period going on right now. Adapting to something. You guys are going to... Your guys' connection is balancing out. Or you're going to have a new romance where it feels balanced, stable. It's like you're choosing your priority. Your priority is something with the two of cups. Something with a partnership. You guys could be going on a boat. Going on a boat, sailing away. That's what I feel like. It's like you guys are overall in general sailing away from something. Playfulness. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be feeling playful. There could be a child involved or a kid involved. You made your decision to move forward with somebody Yeah, somebody else, like I said, an enemy, somebody in the Five of Swords energy. They wanted somebody else heartbroken. They want you uncertain about a romantic interest. They, want, they wanted to break their heart and have you cut them out. But you're seeing the truth clearly. And now the, you, know, you and the universe is bringing justice to this situation. It's like karma. This is what I'm saying is karma. All right. Pile number one, that is all I have for you. If this resonates, please like, subscribe, share, and I will see you on the next video. Hello, pile number six. You chose self-love. Self-love. This is the waxing crescent moon. Radical self-love is necessary. Empowerment starts from the inside out. Do not compare yourself to others. Start your change with focus and love of self. Every day, I bring radical self-love to body, mind, and spirit. Sometimes we feel we are not enough. Sometimes we are even told we are not enough by our own voice, the voices of others and our culture. Not smart enough, not pretty enough, not power powerful enough, not talented enough, not good enough, at what we choose to do not ambitious enough not experienced enough not curvy enough not thin enough not glamorous enough not enough of a lady not enough of a man and as I and as a result all of this makes us not love ourselves enough then there is the opposite that we are too much of something too tall too short too fat too thin too wrinkly too pimply too old too young too quiet or too mouthy too noticeable too opinionated too much trouble, 
too much full stop <laughs> is it any wonder that many of us feel such self-loathing or dissatisfaction with the self please just stop put your blinkers on breathe be with yourself do ritual speak to the goddess or whatever energy floats your boat and ask for help yes indeed listen to any or all of the crazy misdemeanors that your mind may throw at you but then hug these untruths like a crying puppy and soothe the reasons they are there know that you are doing the best that you can right now that you are not your past and you can soothe yourself and most importantly you can move on know that this comparison craziness is just a diversion from knowing yourself really well and discovering amazing delicious aspects of yourself that are entirely satisfying focus on you not others and discover where you really might like change if anywhere or anything for your own personal benefit not for some outward measure of enoughness true power and happiness comes from the inside out like an unfurling spiral Woe is a person who relies on the opinions of others to gain happiness and self-measure. Choose radical self-love. Choose you. If you guys are into stones, crystals, metals, it says a companion stone or metal here is rose quartz. So some of you guys may work with rose quartz. Self-love, number six, waxing crescent, number four. Unexpected money, number 27. So you could be focusing on yourself, your, your money, your income. You're about to be receiving unexpected money. That's a blessing coming for you soon. nature this could be a Taurus picking up Taurus energy here ground yourself find a sanctuary in nature connect with the elementals this could be about your self-value yeah this is like your self-value self-worth clairvoyance number 35 inspiration interpretation and trust you could be clairvoyant or maybe you're working with somebody clairvoyant or the blessing coming you could be getting ready to de develop some kind of clairvoyant gifts i'm hearing something like your self-love is what makes you powerful miracles this is what's coming through for you miracles ancient wisdom number 39 and layla spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective so it looks like you are going to be spending time out in nature or grounding yourself you're going to be connecting with yourself and it's going to be a blessing you're going to be spending time to yourself in quiet meditation thinking about this 
this money coming to you, your, your clairvoyance or some kind of inspiration, you're being asked to trust. Okay, let's get these tea leaves out. What other blessings are coming for pile number two? Hard work ahead table. This could be something with your work. Cobweb. You're protected from negative forces beyond your control. Dog. You could have a dog or you're getting ready to get a dog. That's going to be a blessing. Protection from a powerful friend. And lightning. This came out pile number one. Not this particular card, but another oracle came out about lightning. Lightning, thunder. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. This could be you. Angry. Maybe you need to ground yourself, meditate, or this could be somebody else in your energy, somebody else you know, maybe a friend. Somebody needs to control their anger. Okay. All right. What other blessings are coming for pile number two? I just heard something about ludicrous. Eight of Swords, restriction. Give me some kind of restrictions, limiting beliefs. Maybe you felt stuck. The Magician, Angel of Magic. Okay. Okay, this is how I'm already seeing this. There is somebody angry that's been trying to restrict you, take your power from you, do magic over you, take control over your life. Somebody else is angry because they want you like stuck or something or in a negative energy. They want you to feel like they have power over life and it's like beyond your control. But they're angry because they're not able to do that. You're protected from a powerful friend. This powerful friend could be as simple as God. They're angry because they see some miracles coming into your life. Maybe they're angry because they see you loving yourself, spending time alone, getting, getting money. Maybe because of your clairvoyance or you're getting inspired by somebody clairvoyant. Trust that your blessings are coming for you. Don't focus on whoever that is angry. I don't feel like this is you angry. Somebody could see that you're manifesting blessings. What are the blessings coming for pile number two? Yeah. High Priestess, you have the power. Angel of power. Yeah, you're very intuitive, psychic, or you're clairvoyant. Or develop, you could be developing those kind of gifts. Then that's going to be a blessing for you. Your clairvoyance or spiritual gifts may be what's protecting you from negative forces. From some kind of um, negative people, low vibrational people trying to do uh, magic over you. Somebody's working really, really, really hard to try to do magic over you. But it's not affecting you. King of Pentacles, generosity. Yeah, you have money coming for you. Maybe unexpected money, unexpected, unexpected income. Okay, you could be having somebody that's going to be generous with you, generous with their money. 
help you, take care of you, support you financially. Or this, this could be like, you're going to have a lot of unexpected money. You could be generous with other people. Seven of Pentacles vision. Yeah. There's somebody that's going to invest into you, I feel like. Somebody that wants to spend money on you or something. Commit to you. Or this could be you getting ready to have unexpected money to invest into something. Maybe something with your vision for the future. This could be like having money to invest into a business, a project. I feel like there's somebody here in your life or they're coming in soon that's going to want to invest into you. They're very stable. They're very wealthy. They're generous with their money. They want to share their wealth with you so you can invest into yourself. Possibly something with a business or some kind of work. Some of you guys that I'm seeing, this is simple as somebody's getting ready to invest into a table or some kind of furniture. Maybe you guys are going to get a dog. Either way, this is all leading to a miracle. What else is coming here for pile number two? What other blessings coming for pile number two? Ten of Swords, endings. Okay, there's an ending. Whoever's trying to do magic over you or manipulate something, have power over you, manifest negativity onto your life, that's a complete failure. That's over. Something with magic is completely over. You hold the power. Yeah, this could be a Virgo or a Capricorn also. This could be a Cancer. This could be a Gemini. Five of Pentacles. Isolation. Some of you guys could be isolated. Or somebody could want you isolated. Take this where this resonates. You could have been having temporary hardships, struggles, possibly with money, or you was down on your luck, depressed, and bad health. Or that could be somebody else in your energy, somebody else you know. Inspiration, Ace of Wands. Okay, you're feeling inspired. Somebody's feeling inspired. Inspired, motivated. This could be some, um, some new creative ideas, a new spark, something new starting, something with passion. Some of you guys are gonna start like a new passionate relationship with somebody that's financially stable. Or this could be you, financially stable, generous, wealthy. Yeah, I'm picking up a strong earth energy here. This is possibly an earth sign. Whoever this king of pentacles is, is somebody that works really, really hard. And they're going to be investing into somebody into somebody or something there could be somebody angry because you have money or you're spending money on somebody else or you're spending money on something
Okay, what other blessings are coming for pile number two? Okay, this could be something about a holiday. Something about a holiday. You could be getting ready to take holiday, take a vacation. Maybe you're you're investing for the future for a vacation or something with holidays. Trust your gut feeling. Your intuition. It's like your your intuition is your power. Your clairvoyance is your power. Trust your gut feeling because there's somebody that's an enemy or some negative forces, negative energy that's trying to do some kind of manipulation over you, some kind of magic. They're yeah, they're angry, but don't focus on that. Self-care. Yeah, you're focused on self-love, self-care. Clear your energy fields, focus on yourself. Sometimes all you need to do is look at things from a different perspective. So you're going to need to change your perspective. Don't look at it like this person doing magic has power over you. They don't. It's an illusion. You, ha you have the power. Look at it from that perspective. And keep going. You got this. Yeah, Spirit says you've got this. Keep going. If you're working hard on something, keep going. Stay consistent with the Seven of Pentacles. You may be worried or scared that something's not working out. It is. Okay, final card, final message. What blessings for pile number two? Queen of Water. Yeah, there's somebody here, psychic or clairvoyant, somebody that has spiritual gifts. That or this is somebody developing those gifts. Whoever this is, psychic, clairvoyant, that's a blessing in and of itself. You're able to see the unseen. You're able to sense certain things. Loving, giving, psychic. Yeah, there's somebody giving, generous here in this energy, loving, sweet, very happy, emotionally satisfied, content. Some of you guys, this could be somebody like a support system, a therapist, a counselor. All right, pile number two, this is all I have for you. If this resonates, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Hello, pile number three. You chose fear. This is a waxing gibbous moon. Waxing gibbous number two. Okay, so number 11, fear. So this could be you in fear or somebody in your energy or somebody you know. Fear. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new, useful or unhelpful fear blocks flow you are courageous 
if there is one thing that stops people from fulfilling their dreams or even getting things done that they want done, it is fear. Experiencing fear is built in a chemical part of the way our brain works to protect us. Emotions such as fear cause the production of a whole raft of body chemicals that give us the best chance of coping with situations that need our attention to survive. There is a healthy kind of fear, the kind that warns us to keep out of a dangerous situation or stay clear of someone who instinctively makes us wary. However, it would be a rare person who does not have at least one fear that does not serve them. A fear that is unrealistic or untrue, or perhaps based on an outmoded experience or something that is buried so deeply we only see the symptoms rather than the fear itself. Most fears have been formed with the positive intent of protection. We need to separate that intention out and deal with it in a more resourceful and less destructive way if we are to create ease and flow in our lives. Fear has many names. Covert ones are envy, jealousy, codependence, procrastination, bullying, people-pleasing, disconnection. More overt ones are avoidance, fear of failure, or fear of success. There is, however, a kind of antidote to fear, and it is courage. Fear will put up an initial resistance to courage, but it has no real long-term power against it. While we can be fearful and courageous at the same time, and I think courage contains a mighty big dose of fear, we can choose to face that fear and flow through it until we fear less and then eventually become fearless. The process isn't always graceful. It isn't always impressive because it may be slow and deliberate steps we take. Taking these steps isn't always easy. An understatement. It isn't always apparent to others, so it should be about us measuring how far we have come and not worrying about what anyone else thinks. Comparison is useless. Courage is powerful no matter what form it takes. If you guys are into crystals, stones, metals, a companion stone or metal here is aquamarine. 30, number 38 may resonate with you. Okay, fear. So somebody's trapped in fear. Fear is only an illusion. Fear keeps us stuck and trapped, prevents us from moving forward. Number 11, wow, look at that. Number 11 here on this card of fear and then number 11, winning lots. You could be winning lots of money or you're going to win lots of money. That could be a blessing. That's a blessing that's coming through. This is a waxing gibbous moon, number two. So you're gonna need to get out of this fearful thinking these fearful outdated belief systems that you're in maybe you you're in this mindset where you feel like it's not possible for you to win lots of money or have lots of money 
or have a lot of abundance freedom yeah what the blessing is here is you're releasing yourself you're freeing yourself from these outdated thinking outdated beliefs like i just said freedom live wild and free choose your freedom claim your independence this unicorn and this woman they're moving towards the light so you're going to be getting out of this fearful thinking and thinking more positive that's the blessing that's coming for you number eight this is about your power i feel like you've been stuck in this fearful thinking in a loop divine masculine electric active power this could be a divine masculine energy in fear, or somebody could be in fear of a divine masculine energy, or this could be, this could be somebody in fear, afraid of their own power. Daniel, this is Archangel Daniel. I am the angel of marriage, and I am assisting you right now. Wow. So you have the divine assisting you with your marriage or a connection right now. And Ray, yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Yeah, this person's going within. This is about your thinking, your thoughts. Could be about your third eye chakra. It's like whatever you think, you become. Whatever you constantly focus on is what you attract and manifest. Okay, what other blessings are here coming for pile number three? The Empress. Okay, yeah, look, there's a devil card right behind that, Angel of Freedom. So this angel is taking off some kind of chains that's been around this person's neck. You have been trapped in fear, ego, thinking, low vibrational thinking for a long time. What blessing you have, there's somebody in a feminine energy, a divine feminine energy that is helping you to get out of a certain mindset to help you attract some kind of abundance, abundance in your life. This could be somebody that's helping you to think abundantly. I'm hearing infinite universe. This is a, yeah, this is a divine masculine that's trapped in fearful thinking and he's freeing himself, embracing his power. You're going to be training your mind, reconditioning your mind because you've been in this energy, this devil energy where you've been brainwashed or something. Outdated conditioning is like wearing off. Whoever this empress is, is a blessing to a divine masculine energy. This could be somebody you're married to or you're planning on getting married to or your divine counterpart. What other blessings is coming for pile number three? Tests, five of wands, you're being tested. You've gone through a lot of tests, a lot of challenges. Maybe opposition, drama, celebration. You're attracting, it's like you're rewiring your mind. You have power over your mind. That's what you're learning. You're freeing yourself, outdated conditioning. You are getting ready to attract more abundance, more wealth, maybe more love, more comfort. 
and you're going to be celebrating with whoever this empress energy is or maybe this divine masculine you and your divine counterpart have been put to the test this could have something to do with a family dynamic friends socializing reconnecting with someone or some people y'all are going to be celebrating journeys eight of wands you guys are going to be shifting the energy there's going to be a forward movement you're going to finally see some kind of movement in the energy energetic movement you guys could literally be getting ready to go on a journey go traveling go on vacation or something like that or just go out somewhere to celebrate drink party this could be some kind of communication coming in very fast. Something is picking up. You're getting out of this five of wands, this energy where there was a lot of tests, tests, restrictions, which you're thinking. You're going to be in this energy living wild and free, reclaiming your independence. the full angel of innocence so somebody in your life is a blessing somebody in the empress energy that person could already be abundant or have an abundant mindset that person looks like they already have plenty they already know how to manifest attract a lot of things or abundance to them this could be somebody innocent something new could be a child, a new beginning, a new life. This could be a companion. Some new era, new cycle is about to start. An abundant cycle, it looks like. Two of Wands. Progress, see? There's progress. You can finally move forward. You're finally getting out of this fearful mentality, this lack mentality, ego-based thinking. Yeah, you guys are going to go somewhere. You guys are going to go somewhere, go out. You could be planning something, planning a trip, planning a journey. Somebody could be planning on communicating. Spirit's telling me something like somebody's came to their conclusions. I'm picking up something intuitively. Somebody's came to their conclusions and they, they're ready to move forward now in their life. They're tired of living in fear. They're tired of feeling held back. They're tired of feeling powerless. On this Divine Masculine card, there's a masculine here that's reading a book. So you may have somebody in your life, possibly an Empress energy, possibly a Divine Feminine energy, that's, that's helping you with some kind of material, sharing something with you, giving you a book, giving you some kind of knowledge, possibly. It looks like you're going to be meditating a lot. Yoga or some kind of mental exercises, peace of mind, spiritual growth. This is a blessing. Okay, this world card is standing out. So it's like you're completing something. This is going to be successful. You're at the end of the road is what I'm getting intuitively for some reason. It's like it's the end of the road. It's a dead end with this fearful thinking. King of Pentacles, generosity. Yes, some Empress energy is helping you attract more wealth. That person's helping you change your mindset. 
Ten of Cups, home. And the star, yeah. Somebody's inspiring you. Angel of Hope. Somebody's giving you a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom, making you making you um, want to be in this positive headspace, positive thinking. You could be getting out of a dark time. Somebody could be helping you get out of a dark time. There may be somebody you're looking up to. Yeah. Some masculine feels so inspired by an empress energy. This could be your spouse, a spouse or somebody you live with in a home or somebody you're trying to have the Ten of Cups with. What you guys are going towards very quickly, very fast is the Ten of Cups. A, a extremely happy life. All your desires and wishes fulfilled. Maybe a happy marriage, happy family life, happy home. I just heard happy wife, happy life. Some of you guys could be moving to a new home. Somebody's helping you better yourself. It's like somebody with some kind of knowledge or wisdom. This King of Pentacles has a lot of books. Somebody's helping you manifest or learn to manifest and it's it's making you richer or going to make you richer and you guys are going to be celebrating together what other blessings are coming for pile number three wishbone a wish is granted so you're going through tests right now but you're going to move forward there's going to be progress and you're going to have your wishes granted the star ten of cups is all about emotional wish fulfillment seeing your wishes dreams materialize october this could be something around the fall or in October. Maybe your birthday is in October. This could be a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Beryl. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. So somebody in the Empress Energy is helping you get out of that lack mentality, like I said. They're freeing you from that. Uh, this could be an Aquarius. Aquarius do stuff like that. Aquarius is all about the future, freedom, independence, positivity. Humanitarianism. Speaking of, I just seen freedom actually. I close the deck. I I seen freedom somewhere in here. <laughs> okay, what other blessings is coming for pile number three? Okay, some of these cards, if you guys see me turn them around, they're old cards that I feel are outdated. I need to start scratching them out. I just bought a whole pack of brand new cards. So sometimes I like to recycle the old ones. Um, you deserve more than the bare minimum. So maybe this is about you working on your self value, realizing you deserve more. You deserve to have more money. You deserve to make more money. This could be a business person with this King of Pentacles, maybe a businessman.
You deserve more than the bare minimum. My soul recognized your soul when we first met. I've grown up and matured a lot. Yeah, somebody's maturing, growing. The Empress is all about growth, nurturance. It's like a motherly type of energy. This could be somebody motherly, maternal in your life helping you. Whoever this King of Pentacles energy is, I feel like it's a divine masculine. Some Empress is helping or inspiring a divine masculine energy to better themselves, grow, mature. Work on their self-concept, attract more money. So something in October. So you're you're gonna have your wishes granted between now and October. You feel like something is lacking in your you feel like something is lacking in your life right now, but by the time October comes, you're going to win a lot. You're going to have a lot. A lot of something. It looks like a lot of money. There's a whole bunch of coins. A whole lot of happiness, a whole lot of joy. Okay, what else for pile number 3? no need to worry spirit says there is no need to worry don't focus on your lacks focus on what's to come get yourself in this mindset as if you already have it And final message, pile number three. Blessings coming to them. Don't worry, these blessings are coming. Pile number three. Ooh. <laughs> okay, three of water. Okay, Spirit wants me to pull from this deck. This landed on this deck. Three of water, yeah, here's a celebration energy, community energy, friendships, enjoying life, celebrating life. This could be about a milestone, connecting with somebody, reconnecting. Eight of earth, education, focus, details, yeah. You're working on, you're working on your, um, somebody you're connected with, you guys are working on your mindset or something like that, your mentality. You're learning something from somebody that's helping you better yourself. Some new skills, possibly. Somebody's educating you. Pile number three, what blessings are coming next? <laughs> These cards do not want to stay on the table. They're just jumping everywhere. Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> family, <laughs> family. This could be about a family dynamic. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. All right, pile number three, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.